hey, find this person, because I can't. Um, let's go upstairs here, because these are the kitchens. Alright, obviously I played this game many, many times. Uh, Alright, who's this guy? Kendrick. Greetings, Decor. How are you this morning? A little fragile after the liar's wig. And how is Marath, our gold? Mm, rumor is she may fly her clutch. Morath is melancholy, yes, but Zenth has not mentioned anything. It is unheard of for a gold to leave a clutch. Well, I suppose you'd know. How goes it with the tide? The abandoned wine that came in yesterday was a welcome addition. I couldn't get it off the cart quick enough. Aye, the tides seem in order, although there is a great shortage of ores in this last shipment. As long as we have enough food for the cold, the ores can go hang. But it's not like the master miner to leave us short. I'll have to ask the trader that brought it in. Alright, more knowledge. Good times. Hey, so you notice there's a bug on the ground here? That will actually be important later. Uh, right now there is absolutely nothing we can do about it, so we'll leave it, but just kind of mentally just take a note that there is a bug in here. Alright, let's talk to this other fellow here. My duty to you, sir. Greetings, Rower. I'm sorry, Decor, but the kitchens are not open yet. Uh, come back later if you're still hungry. Alright, good to know. And let's see, I believe there's one more room over here. Yes. Alright, anybody in? There's just this one. Oh, nope, three guys over here. Let's talk to this one first. Ooh, my throbbing ear. What's the matter? Chef Tom's got a right old temper on him today. I dropped a tray and he belted me. I'm surprised he didn't take my head clean off. That's unusual for Tom to be in a bad mood. Apparently, one of the Green Riders, don't recall his name, insulted all of the food that Tom laid out from the liar's wake last night. It nearly ended up in a fight. I think I'll need stitches. And look, I've got to clear all this mess up from last night or I'll get another thick ear. You don't want one of these jars, do you? Tom says they should be thrown out, but I think you might find a use of it. An empty jar, apparently with a picture of a bug on it. I wonder. Alright, let's talk to these, these guys over here. Talor. Rumor has it we're looking to the holds for impression candidates. What's wrong with the werefolk? I'm pleased that thread is waning. I'm not sure I could take much more combat. Alright. Good to know. Uh, let's see. Let me see if there's anything over here. Nope. Alright, so we are done with the kitchens for now. Whoop, and I missed the door again. I will get better at this, I swear. It's just a matter of practice. Well, let's see. Back to the middle levels, and let's talk to the rest of these people over here. Who is this? Hello. But Hello, uh... Emara. I was just admiring your work. Thank you. I call it the world of Pern Tapestry. When it's finished, it will show the whole of Pern in fine detail. That's fascinating. Very beautiful. In order to complete it, I need someone very reliable to gather information for me. Someone whose reputation precedes them. All these people talking about reputation, and I'm just, you know, honest. So let's see, let's go over here. Hey, what's this? It looks like a gaming room. Hello. Here to lose money to this gambling fool? Aye, and a share of my wits too, knowing the way he plays. Are you calling me a cheat? No, just a man who's unreasonably lucky with dice. Well, I shall leave you to it. I'll see you at Sabor's meeting later on. I suppose. Although I think the more traditional among us will not like what he has to say. 
right, good to know. Decor, you're up early. I bet your head feels a bit thread-beaten, doesn't it? I felt better. Now, about that gambling debt you owe me. Gambling debt? I must have been drunk. <sighs> the look on your face. You were right, to men. That was a good prank. You have no debt, lad. At least not with me. You're sharply in here this morning. The dice were unfair last night. I need to cover my losses, and Timen here offered to play a few rounds with me. And we nearly lost our table, too, when you decided to carve your name in it. Until Catan stayed your hand. My apologies. Well, I shall leave you men to it. Clear skies and fair weather, Decor. Yeah, except that if we leave them to it, they'll never get to the meeting. So, what we need to do is... Aha! Oh, no, not quite. There we go. Excuse me, Decor, but we are using those. You can have them back after you've attended the meeting. died and made him wing leader so we have our first instance of nobody actually likes decor which will become a running trend in this game actually so let's see uh, there's a room we can't get into Ah, oh, what's this room hello for Ben oh it's you what do you want I wanted to talk for a while I suppose you've heard about this meeting with Sabor? As is every writer, I presume. I think it's disgraceful that we have to lower ourselves to look for inferior stock in the holds. It is breaking tradition. If breaking tradition allows us to have a new werewoman and save the future of our dragons, then so be it. But the were has always bred people for impression. Especially the werewoman. Why are you so afraid of change? Do you think that now the holds and halls have little use for us, they will begin to question our purpose? Never. The Dragon Riders are the only reason their homes have not been raised to the ground and their flesh seared from their bones. And they should be grateful? They do provide for us, after all. It's a fair exchange. Weary teeth, man. The Riders are superior in every respect. Apart from some idiot greens like Nueth. There are some characters out for his blood after his escapade last night. No one seems to be able to tell me what he did. I think Sabor may have something to say on the matter. Shells, man! Sabor is a fool, as are most of the riders here. Always talking about how things must change with the times. Well, I'm too long in the tooth to start thinking differently. The current ways have lasted for hundreds of turns for a good reason. They won't change now. You'll see. All right, well, you're cheerful. Whatever you say, Faben. I can see there's no point in arguing with you. I'll be there as soon as I've finished reading these ballads. Actually, Vahul said he would lend me one of his, but he hasn't got around to it. Uh, if you see him, could you get it for me? He already asked me to deliver it to you. Oh, I see. Well, give it here, lad. Don't dally. Right. Thanks. You can go now. Alright. <clears throat> Handed over our item, but we got some reputation. Alright, so, and some knowledge. Woohoo! Just burning the reputation and the knowledge here. Okay, can't go in there. Let's head back out. Alright, so let's go this way. And there's some more rooms over here. And this is seriously the source of some of our funniest conversations in the game. Here we go. Good morning, Decor. You looked like you were having fun last night. I was, what little I can remember of it. Nalaya would be pleased to know we celebrated her life so vigorously. And some more vigorously than others. 
occasionally the voices go off. What do you mean? Never mind that now. I'm glad you've arrived, Decor. I found this book in the gambling hall last night, and I don't quite know what to do with it. I don't know who it belongs to. Is it a journal? I think I know. Locke the librarian has lost his diary. It may belong to him. Would you take it to him, Decor? I have to oil that off. Of course. Thanks, Decor. All right. Nothing else. Well, actually, there may be something else we can do in here. Let me talk to her again. They say Tom the head chef has the best cures for too much wine. Okay. Not, not yet. There is something we can do in here later. Decor. Oh, never mind. Yes. Oh, do you know what day it is? The same day it was when you found me that pearl last time. Your name day? Could be, Decor. Could be. But don't worry yourself with it. I'm sure you have more important things on your mind. So passive aggressive. Mm. Decor, you remember what trouble that caused last turn, don't you? You spent days searching for a pearl, letting your wear duties slip. Bronzes and greens are never... I know, Zenth. I know. Good. We do have more important things to do than fishing, Decor. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Next room. Hello, Neff, my favorite character in the game. Good morning, Decor. I trust you had a good night last night. Don't start, Neff. I've had enough from Zenth. Anyway, I heard that your night was better than mine. I'm so embarrassed, Decor. The news must be all round the weir by now. Pretty much. But no one seems to be able to tell me what you did. Well, it's rather a sorry affair. Azoth is ready to mate, and we green riders have a tendency to... How shall I put it? Become on edge when our dragons are ready to fly. I and you were on eyebrows. edge last night? So much so that between Azoth and the Bend and Wine, I think I may have become a bit too forceful in an argument. How forceful? I think I drew my knife on someone, but I can't remember who. By the first egg, what are you going to do? Well, I would apologize, but I don't know who to apologize to. And I'm afraid to go out of my weir for fear of a dagger in the back. Do you think you could see your way to finding out who it was and apologize on my behalf? Well, of course I will help you. Well, I'm sure it was unintentional. I'll ask around for you. Thank you, Decor. You do me a great honor. Alright. So, yes, Lex is asking, is Zenth a bronze? And the answer is yes. The version of bronze in this game is a little bit weird. But, uh, oh, and I'm stuck on a shelf. Okay. So, Neth insulted someone. He wants our help. Apologizing. So, let us see if the kitchens are open yet. Because that is where we need to go. Aha, they're open now. This is good news for us. So, let's head in. Just real quick, I'm gonna save again. Because as I mentioned earlier, I don't want to have to replay terribly much. In case it crashes. Which it could. Uh, let's return the game. Alright, and into the kitchens we go. Hello, Tom. I suppose you're here to insult my breakfast spread. Meat rolls not good enough for you, eh? I have no quarrel with you, Tom. Your food has always been of the highest quality. Tell that to your arrogant friend, Nerf. Too much salt here, this class too bitter, the herd beast tastes rancid. It nearly came to blows. You have to understand, Neth's green is ready to mate, and that sets a rider on edge. I've spoken to him earlier, and he deeply regrets what he's done. 
But he attacked me. For which he is truly...